Cockney Rejects are an English punk rock band that formed in the East End of London in 1978. Their 1980 song Oi was the inspiration for the name of the Oi music genre. The band members are supporters of West Ham United and pay tribute to the club with their hit cover version of I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles, a song traditionally sung by West Ham supporters. Cockney Rejects were formed in 1978 by brothers Jeff and Mickey Jegas, with their brother-in-law Chris Morell on bass and Paul Harvey on drums. Their first demo Flares and Slippers caught the attention of Small Wonder Records owner Pete Stennett, who introduced the band to Bob Sargent, with Sargent they recorded their single Flares and Slippers which sold out its first pressing, Morell and Harvey were then replaced by Vince Reardon on bass and Andy Scott on drums, from fellow East End London band The Tickets. This became known as Cockney Rejects Classic Lineup and its debut at the Bridge House in Canning Town in June 1979 is considered a turning point for the band. In September of that same year, the band signed with EMI and released their album Greatest Hits Volume 1 in February 1980. Their biggest hit single in the United Kingdom, 1980's The Greatest Cockney Ripoff was a parody of Sham, 69 song Hersham Boys. Other Cockney Rejects songs were less commercial, partly because they tended to be about hard-edged topics such as street fighting or football hooliganism, other singles to appear in the UK were Bad Man, We Can Do Anything, I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles and We Are The Firm All from 1980. The violence depicted in their lyrics was often mirrored at their concerts and the band members often fought to defend themselves often from supporters of opposing football teams or to split up conflicts between audience members. Jeff and Mick Jagas had both been amateur youth boxers and had fought at the national level, bass player Vince Ryarden's uncle was Jack the Hat McVitie, a cockney gangster who was murdered by Reggie Cray. Cockney Rejects expressed contempt for all politicians in their lyrics and they rejected media claims that they had a British movement following, or that the band members supported the views of that far-right group. In their first Sounds interview, they mockingly referred to the British movement as the German movement and stated that many of their heroes were black boxers. Jeff Turner's autobiography Cockney Reject describes an incident in which the band members and their supporters had a massive fight against British movement members at one of Cockney Reject's early concerts. EMI Records released a definitive Rejects retrospective on August 29, 2011, called Join the Rejects, the Zonophone years 79 to 81 it was a three-disc collection of all their EMI recordings including all the Peel sessions and rare demos from the day, also included was a color booklet with a blow-by-blow -blow account of the stories behind the music by Mickey Jagas. The Rejects movie East End Babylon and an album of the same name were released in 2013, Tony Van Frotter died in October 2015 from a heart attack at the age of 51. In February 2016 it was announced that former Cockney Reject bass player Vince Reardon had rejoined the band again, the group were slated to perform their first Australian shows in February 2019, however a family emergency necessitated the postponement of the concerts to July, the concerts were later rescheduled to October and went ahead that month to critical acclaim.